Good morning friends i hope everyone is doing well i request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding in the previous video we have discussed about the steps in eliminating the useless productions in this video we will discuss few examples so that you will understand the concept in a better way let me take an example one okay they have given set of productions we need to identify which are the productions are useless productions okay now if i want to identify useless productions or useless symbols first i need to identify useful symbols now when we will say that a symbol or a production is useful is if it is able to determine any terminal am i right or wrong if can it can able to determine directly a terminal or indirectly a terminal because finally what our string will consist of only terminals if your alphabets a comma b your string will be of in the combination of a and b is only so whatever the grammar you have taken finally it should able to generate your terminal so if your variable is there which consists of some productions if it is able to determine directly a terminal then it is useful or if it is indirectly generating a terminal then also it is useful if any production or a symbol could not able to determine either directly or indirectly those symbols we will call it as a useless symbols we will try to eliminate them so first we will see what are the useful symbols okay if you have seen this one what are the variables and what are the terminals are there we will discuss now if you see that the variables are s a b c are the variables yes a b c are the variables what are the terminals you have a comma b this is also capital c okay now if you see that we will discuss what are the useful remember one thing always the let me write useful symbols the useful symbols are initially that is what i say the wi w i will consist of all the terminals because they are useful for us now if you see that s can able to determine a meaning is that s can able to determine a terminal directly so you add the s similarly a can able to determine b means b is a terminal so a is also a useful production because it is directly determining now we will find whether any production anything else can able to determine directly no s and a only can able to determine the terminals directly we will see about the b and c they are not able to determine any terminal is it clear directly so right now they are will not be added in the set wi plus 1 now we will increment again now what we will do is that we'll take the combination of these things we'll take the combination we will see this four are there so anywhere if you see that only b and c are not included right now we will check here it is c only c is not there here here a b a is there but b is not there are you able to understand capital b is not there so you cannot able to determine any terminal from b directly or indirectly also we cannot able to determine because here a b is there a is there already in the set however b is not there so we cannot add the b now if you see that c c is not there in the set so we cannot able to determine any terminal from the b so b is a useless symbol for us similarly take it c determines a c so a c is there a is there however c is not there in the list okay similarly b is also not there in the list so we cannot further add any useful symbols in this set so the set consists of only a b s a so what are the if you see that a b is there s a is there what are the symbols or the variables which are not added in the list is that b and c so we have to I, we have identified the useless symbols the useless symbols are useless symbols are b and c now what we have to do we have to eliminate the symbols b and c from the grammar obviously i will eliminate these two productions because they are not giving any terminals for me okay they are not able to generate any terminals now you need to find anywhere b in c is there here 
here B is there, so you eliminate this one also. And here B and C is there, so you eliminate this one. So after eliminating all the useless symbol from the production, you will get S determines A, A determines B. This is our phase one. We have eliminated all the useless symbols from the production. Now we will do the phase two. What is the phase two? Whether any symbol or any production is unreachable from the initial state or the start symbol. What is the start symbol here? Yes is the start symbol. Okay. So yes can able to generate a small a, which is a terminal, but it cannot able to determine a. Meaning is that from yes you cannot able to reach a variable called capital A, which is an unreachable. So you eliminate then, then you got the simplified grammar as yes determines a. So this is the smallest means simplified grammar from this one. However, they have given this much lengthy one. What is the use? We have eliminated and we have reduced and we got the only one production in the grammar. So I hope you have understood how I identified the useful product symbols and then how I identified the useless symbols, how I eliminated that is the phase one. Now after the phase one, I have started the phase two. In the phase two, I will identify the symbols which are not able to reach from the start symbol. Start symbol is yes. From start symbol yes, I can able to reach a terminal A. However, I cannot able to reach a variable capital A. So capital A I cannot able to reach which is an unreachable production. If you have an unreachable production, then better you eliminate it and you got this one. Okay. Now we will discuss another example so that you will understand this concept in a better way. Okay. Let me find out what are the terminals they have given. First, let me identify what are the variables they have given. The variables are, sorry my handwriting, variables are yes, a, b, c and d are the variables and the terminals are small a is there, small b is there, okay and this is capital C, okay. Don't get confused. This is capital C. Anywhere else is there? B, B. This is capital C, capital B. Yeah. So these are the two terminals are there. So you have two terminals and five non-terminals are there or variables are there. So first we need to identify what are the useless symbols. How can we identify? First we need to identify useful symbols. The useful symbols are initially the terminals. The terminals will be there in the useful symbols. Then we will add the symbols which will directly generate the terminals. If you see that S can able to generate any terminal, no. A can able to determine anything, yeah. A is able to generate the terminal. So you add the variable A in the list. Is it clear? Now if you see that B can able to determine any variable, no, B cannot able to determine any variable. C can able to determine any variable? No. D can able to determine any variable directly? No. So we got the useful symbol still now is ABA. Now you see ABA combination anything is there in this one. Already here it is there already A is added. Now we will come what are the useless till now what are the symbols we could not able to identify? S, B, C and D are not there in the list. Now we will see yes. Yes, can I have any combination? A, B is there. However, variable B is not there. Similarly, A, C is there. However, variable C is not there in this list. So I cannot add yes to the useful symbols list. A is already added. No problem. Come to the B. B, B, A. Yeah. So we have this combination of B and A. We have it. So add the B in the list. Add the B in the list. Now you see whether anywhere C is there. C can be down. A, B, C. But C is not there in the list. A, B is there. And A is there. However, C is not there. Similarly, here A, D, B. D is not there in the list. So I cannot add C to the list. Similarly, if you see the D. D is having D, B, D. D is not there in the list. And A and C combination C is not there. So with the combination of 
a b variable a b i cannot able to add s okay i cannot able to add c i cannot able to add d okay am i right or wrong so you eliminate them you eliminate them okay see please listen carefully now if you see that a comma b a comma b now yes you can do yes or not yes can able to find a b a b is there so you add the yes so that's what you should be little bit careful okay you whenever you are repeating any step you should be little bit careful so you got the useful symbols as a b variable a variable b variable s so it is easy for us to identify the useless symbols okay what are the useless symbols are there useless symbols are if you eliminate them s a b is there c and d are the useless symbols so you eliminate the productions related to c and d i have eliminated the productions related to c and d they are useless for us now anywhere if you have c is there yeah here c is there so you eliminate this production also and anywhere c is there no anywhere d is there not there so after completing the phase 1 we got the s determines a and b okay b a determines a a b b a a and a then b determines b b a a a b a b c i have removed a c i got this one now phase 1 is done what is the phase 2 take the start symbol okay from start symbols what are the symbols you can able to determine a you can go and b you can go meaning is that a and b are reachable from the start symbol so i should keep the productions related to a and b so after phase 2 also you got the same grammar so i can say that there is no unreachable productions in the grammar so this we have taken a lengthy grammar and we have simplified and we got the simplified grammar so i hope you have understood with these two examples how to eliminate the useless productions or useless symbols from the given grammar so we have already discussed about how to eliminate the unit productions how to eliminate the epsilon productions and how to eliminate the already now we have discussed about how to eliminate the useless symbols if you follow them in the order called unit first you eliminate the epsilon productions unit productions and then useless symbols you will get the simplified grammar in the next video i will take a one example and i will do all the steps one by one and then we will simplify the grammar so that you can understand the concept in a better way thank you for watching my video if you have any doubts feel free to ask them in the comment section i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you once again